Hello everybody and welcome to Consumer Cave. Today we will be reviewing the Inatech iPad Pro and iPad keyboard cases. So first, let's take a look what comes with it. So inside the box, you have the iPad Pro case and the micro USB cable. All right, so this is the iPad Pro case. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you the uh, mechanism that's used to make it actually stand up. So you, there's two portions that flip out like this. So the first one you take out is this middle portion. It has three notches in there. And the second one, so you just pick up the iPad and whatever notch you wanna put it on, three, two, or one, just choose. And then your keyboard has two positions. Position one and then position two is connected like this at a little, a little angle. Uh, the only difference between these two um, cases is the iPad Pro one, you can actually, if you have a Apple Pencil second generation, right here on the top, you can just connect it and it'll show that it's charging. It'll show you that your pencil is connected. And if you don't have a um, Apple Pencil or you have an older one, just put it in here or any, or any other device that you use for it. You could also hold it over here when you guys are actually have the case open and you need to just rest it for a little bit. Right here, you have the off and on switch. So you just push it to the on position. Your keyboard will turn on. Right here, you'll see the caps lock. If you press caps lock, boom, it'll turn on. This is uh, when you're pairing it, it'll uh, blink, make sure that it's connected. And this is just your battery indicator. If it's um, low battery, it'll start blinking red. So I'm gonna show you how to control the keyboard, how to connect it, and how to change the different uh, coloring on here. So to connect it, all you have to do is press um, this function button right here and the delete button. You'll see a small Bluetooth symbol right there. And to control the um, RGB on here, you're gonna see A, M, or A, S, D, and F keys. They have the um, actual displays on there for left, middle, right, and then the whole the whole um, keyboard. So if you press um, function and then the F button, this will control the actual motion if it's like, you know, blinking and changing. So, but if you just wanna keep it a solid color, you're gonna go ahead and turn it off, hit um, function F, so it's paused. And then you could just hit con, uh, function A, you control the left side, uh, and then you hit function S, you control the middle, and function D, you control the right side. So you could make it whatever color you want, you can make it all the same color, different colors, and then if you want, you can make it um, go back to pulsating and switching through the different colors. Um, for the brightness, there's a button right here, it's just like a light bulb, you just press it. Brightness one, brightness two, brightness three, off. All right, so the difference between the um, function B or spacebar and the function C is, so the function C is gonna play a, ra a random pulsating effect like this keyboard right here. So the colors won't stay the same. The function spacebar button or the function B, this is just gonna, uh, it's just gonna pulsate the, so if you have three colors right here, it's just gonna pulsate the same three colors over and over again. So you can choose what you want on there. So those are the two differences. So now let's take a look at the pros and cons. All right, so for this keyboard, I give it a 10 out of 10 because the quality of the keyboard is, it's very durable. It keeps your um, iPad or iPad Pro very safe. Um, I like that you could uh, adjust and you know, use this if you had to use it uh, to take notes on a desk or something, you could just prop it up like that. I like that it has a keyboard. And another thing is it's not too expensive. It's not as expensive as the keyboard folio. And I also like that they did think about the Apple Pencil for the uh, iPad Pro version. Uh, like I said earlier, the only difference between these two is for the regular iPad, they don't have a um, pencil holder right here but they do have one right here because you know this one can't charge it anyway so you just keep it right there but that's pretty much the only difference between the two 
but both of these are great keyboards you know they let your um speakers on both sides of the ipad pro to be fully open so you could still hear sound clearly it's not muffled or anything uh the keyboard's actually detachable so you can just disconnect it from right here all the charging ports still open and to actually charge this keyboard just plug in the micro usb right here and it'll charge it back up and the charge lasts pretty long too i haven't charged this in over a week so it works pretty well so overall i give this a 10 out of 10 great product great price it serves a purpose multiple purposes it's a case and it's a keyboard so that's very good especially if you're in class trying to take notes or if you just you know use it for you know typing letters doing work i like that it's and the main thing is it's not as expensive as the key keyboard folio and it gives you more protection and more features all at a low cost and you also get the backlit keyboard if you guys want to test out these keyboards i'm gonna put a link uh, for the iPad Pro and the iPad versions in the description. Um, they're great products. I definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10, like I said. But thank you guys for watching our video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until next time, see you guys later.